EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, it's a good matchup in the AFC South between the Indianapolis Colts and the Houston Texans. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. Room here to run. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. A big play there on the first play of the game. 48 yards on the ground. Well, welcome to the party. First carry of the game. How about that? And just think, as far as he's concerned, he's just getting warmed up. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. The toss here completed to Pittman. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The time called here because a member of the Texans is in some discomfort. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Now this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Boy, no problems getting down the field here on this opening drive. They've looked really sharp in the early going. And they've come up with some big plays already. Here's another that's going to set up first and goal. They'll run with Lindsey. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Phillip Lindsey, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Colts are on the board first here this afternoon. And they do exactly what they wanted to. Opening drive, they get into the end zone. They do it on the ground. And not only is the person lugging the ball happy, of course, because he got it into the end zone. How about the offensive linemen and receivers who are blocking for him? They have to feel great about themselves sticking in the end zone on a running play. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. From the six. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. First and 10 now for Mills and the Texans. At their own 27 to throw Mills. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Darius Leonard, the linebacker. And they will finally stop him, but a great return. Gets that football all the way down to the 16-yard line. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Some teams like to start aggressive to begin a drive, but this is still what you expect to see in normal situations. Just call a simple run, get a few yards to begin the series, and set yourself up for something bigger on second down. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. It'll be a gain of seven, and they get it back to a third and three. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Ryan now to throw on third down. 
And this is going to be incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short. They elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short. But you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone. Can't connect there. Fourth down. Here's Ryan. Touchdown, Colts. Paris Campbell from eight yards out. And the Colts' decision to go for it pays off with six points. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. So already not the best to kick returns there, but that penalty, that adds insult to injury and backs him up even closer to the goal line. Yeah, not ideal field position to begin a drive, is it? Because the extra pressure now goes on the offense. They've got to get some early yards and get away from the shadow of their own goal post. What every offense wants to do in this situation, get two first downs to help out with field position at the least. Second and nine. Throwing, Mills. To the sideline, wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. So give him two yards there on the completion. Third and seven now. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Mills now. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. I think the training and practice broke down on that play because he simply didn't run the route deep enough to get to the first down marker, despite what was a really nice catch and toe tap on the sideline. Now that's third down 101. you got to go to the marker, know where it is. A big kick, 50 yards that time with a return of four. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and ten. A carry by Taylor to start the drive to about the 33-yard line. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Play action. Ryan finds his big tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. 57 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. 
from just shy of midfield. Ryan, this one completes Alec Pierce. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Nice first down pickup there by Alec Pierce. If you want to talk about underrated athletes from the 2022 draft, you must include his name. Excellent size, runs a 4-4-40, and can jump out of the building. You want to add some toughness in there? He played linebacker for a while at the University of Cincinnati. He fits what Indianapolis is looking for to a T. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 25-yard line. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. They'll try the left side with Taylor. Nifty move. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And Diving for the end zone, and the ball's knocked out. And I think the offense got it back. Yes, they did. At the two-yard line is where they'll have it. Could have been a costly mistake, but as it turns out, they keep possession. You can't give away these types of opportunities in the red zone. And I'm sure that was flashing through his brain as the ball escaped his hands. Fortunately for him, able to get picked up by his team. Fumble recovered. They still have it. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Jonathan Taylor taking it in from two yards out. And the Colts have moved out in front by three touchdowns. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance blocking and getting their runner across the goal line. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. Takes it at the seven. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Oh, he caught it. Just couldn't get the feet down. Couldn't get that toe-tap sequence, right? I was ready to call him tippy-toes if that one was completed. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Looking to throw his mills. Looking for Cooks, and it's intercepted. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. 
After the interception, here's Ryan. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for naught. So just three yards on the completion there, and that will bring up second down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. From the 35 on second down, Ryan, he'll get this one to Pittman. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. Now a give to Taylor. Brought down at the 20. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Second and seven from the 20. Now Ryan. That is caught. Michael Pittman with it. And the Colts are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. Now Ryan. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Matt Ryan, his second touchdown pass of this opening quarter. And the Colts are in for six. Boy, CD, what a start for them. Still in the first quarter. They're absolutely blitzing them. All the points that they've put up. I'm not sure what you say on the other sideline right now. I think it's as simple as this, partner. The way that they're playing, there's no limits on what this lead could become. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And that makes the score 28 to nothing. So this not what we expected. 28-0 here in the first as another kickoff is away from the six. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. On the ground, it's Pierce to begin the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Another carry for Pierce. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Pierce will try to pick it up. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Houston. It's the Texans in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. A first down throw for Mills. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 
That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. Julian Blackman bringing him down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Mills throw here into the hands of Moore. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 31-yard line. Give him 17 on the pick up there, and the Texans also get a new set of downs. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Hand off right side to Pierce. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Let's go. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance and guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And the Colts are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Throwing again on second down. Ryan, he's got the tight end, Mo Ali cox Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback a hot route so to speak from the 32 now here's first and 10 on the handoff this is taylor and he's corralled at the 40 but not before picking up eight good yardage there on first down exactly what you want Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They run once more with Taylor. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice run defense presented there, and what I mean by that is discipline. 
guys filling the right gaps in the right holes, no one over pursuing and making a very nice play. On second and nine, Ryan. This to Hines on the drop off. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 114 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Back to Taylor on first down. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Now, during that run, an injury here, we got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Now it's Ryan. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively. Not just getting sacks, but they have to keep getting in his face. Not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carping them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he'll just get rid of it. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. That's on target, but it's no good. He had it on line, but it came up just shy of the crossbar. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now, they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover that plagued it on the last one. To throw again on second down. Mills, that's complete. It's Collins. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Mills on first down. Over the middle, he gets it to Collins. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. 23 yards, the final tally.
Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Well, interceptions have been a problem in this one. If he could have got his feet down here, it would have been another. Would have been a huge one. They've had a great game taking the ball away. Thought they had another one, just unable to get those cleats inbounds. Throwing again, Mills on second and 10. This to the outside for Mack. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They get 6. That'll leave them with 3rd and 4. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. And they'll throw again. Here's Mills. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Brevin Jordan, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Texans are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. I'm not sure that they have illusions right now of, okay, we're going to score eight times in a row and we're going to be terrific. But to get one, that was huge for them. That has to feel much better right now. And you do have, we're still in the first half. You do have the entire second half. There's something about that goose egg that just looked bad on that board, but now they've broken it. Yeah, broken through. Can they maintain the pace? We'll see as we go along. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And just inside of a minute left, Charles, they got a pretty long field ahead of them. I'm curious to see how they play this, but you would think definitely enough time to at least try to get three out of this. Yeah, you want to move with a nice sense of pace. You want to up the tempo a little bit, but you have to do it with some poise as well. You don't want to go so fast that you hurry yourself into mistakes. There's enough time to put points on the board if they do it right. And even though they have the lead, you know that they would love to extend this lead before heading to the locker room. Working with a second and three. Here's Ryan. The toss here completed to Pittman. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Here's Ryan to throw. He's got his man, it's Pierce. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call <laughs> it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on him. Really well done. Yeah, will get this off to Taylor. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. 
And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. Blankenship's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So he missed his first attempt, remember, but this time he gets back on the bike and knocks it home. Yeah, and sometimes that first one can really impact you moving forward. It can just stay with you too long and affect everything else you do during the game. In this case, though, able to shake it off. He's riding high again. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. On the return, here comes Smith out of the end zone. So we come to halftime here with the visiting Colts taking the lead to the locker room. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. A run by Pierce begins the second half. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? win first down so that can set things up for themselves better and that wasn't helpful there not a big impact on first down here's second and seven now from the 28 and Pierce gets it again on second down a short gain here maybe a yard to the 29 back to back runs I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain for minimal yardage and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up this offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing. Mills. Forced out. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Yannick Ngakwe drops him for a loss of 12. And it also brings up fourth down. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there. It's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out. Not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. First and ten, Taylor now. Oh, he faked him with a juke. Now he's got some room. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 131 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. He's turning in a pretty impressive performance running the football and a big reason why they have this nice lead. And in days gone by, we would clip this out and put it up on the refrigerator, wouldn't we? Clip out the box score. Nowadays, not too many newspapers out there. Maybe you screenshot it online. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? 38-yard line, second and nine. Here's Hines. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Now it's Ryan. He finds Pierce. It's complete. 
And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. He's down inside the 10 to the 8, and it comes on a gain of 8. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Ball on the 8, second and 2. Ryan. The quick slant caught. Touchdown. Mo Alley Cox from eight yards out. And the Colts have opened the lead up to 30. Boy, another score. This lead gets even bigger. And Charles, we haven't even hit the fourth quarter yet. Well, forget the deficit, right? They're really not going to cut into that a heck of a lot. But how can they get out of here with some dignity? Can they get a stop or two? Can they make a play on offense themselves? Anything to start to feel better about what's happened to them here in this one. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And Smith not going to bring it out, so it's a touchback. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. And those two just have been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the gun, here's Mills. He's going to take another shot here. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on to punt for Houston. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a bead on you, Maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action, and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. 147 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill.
Second down, another run with Taylor. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. They go to the ground again with Taylor. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Running left, Taylor. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. To throw is Ryan. This one finds Pierce on the out route. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. On first down, Ryan. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Looking to throw again on second down. Ryan. Eluding the print. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Off the edge, Jerry Hughes gets the sack. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. Now that sack backs Ryan and the Colts up a bit here, facing a third and long. Back to throw. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. I would describe the way that he's played today as mature. He's already moved on mentally from that incompletion, and he's more than ready to throw his next pass downfield. So Ryan heads to the sideline, and out now is Rodrigo Blankenship for the Indianapolis field goal try. Blankenship's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. I got to think at this point, third quarter, if you're able to hold on to the ball, get three at the end, that's all you're looking for. I would agree with that because right now, this is a job well done by them. In fact, it's almost time for handshakes, a little dap on the sidelines, maybe even start to discuss post-game plans. And for the guys who haven't played yet, go ahead and get loose. Your time is now. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They'll start on the ground with Pierce. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Out of the gun, here's a give to Mack. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. 
They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A first down throw for Mills. Swings this one out wide for Pierce. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Working with a second and four. This is Mack on the counter. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. First and 10, it's Pierce. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Houston. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Steps away to his left. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Looking to throw his mills. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Credit the sack to the Oregon Duck to Forrest Buckner. The drive had started well after a punt last time. Now it's slowed down a bit. And let's face it, they don't want to punt the ball back-to-back -back series. They want a sustained drive on this one. Third and long for Mills. And that is incomplete. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try and throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. Mills, fourth down, got to have it. He's going to look deep for more. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Second down, another run with Taylor. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. This offense so far on third down, they've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This time it's third and three. This is Hines. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's gonna be a foot or so short. The ball's still a few inches shy of the marker after the three yard run, so now a little soul searching on fourth down. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And he's got 
to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. Out of his end zone, Mills. Got a man. It's Brown. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Second down at five. Mills to throw it. Throw over the middle, caught by Jordan. And this will be a gain of right around three from the seven out to the 10-yard line. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Mills on third and two. This will be caught by Brown. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. He's letting it fly for Cooks. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. That incompletion brings us one snap closer to the end of this one. Maybe mercifully, partner. And let's face it, though, no surprise they're still flinging it around. They have pride, too. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Mills to the air again. That's underneath to Pierce. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Mills. The Philip Dorsett hauls it in. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30 point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now, and all they can control here is how their final plays develop. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Mills throw here into the hands of Moore. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Throwing again on second down, Mills. And he'll go right back to Moore, complete again. And he's going to get this down near the 25. And they'll throw again. Here's Mills. Rodgers brings it in. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six.
On second down, here's Pierce. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. Mills now. Open man there is Collins complete. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Here's Pierce. He is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. Second down and goal, Mills. And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one to the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead, and now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up, and he did just that. Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? But you and I both know the receivers don't want them to because, as you noted, this is their chance to pile on the stats. If they got their way, they try to get every single spot in the depth chart points before this game is over. Let's go get it now. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Again, it's Taylor. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. On third and one, Ryan. He finds Pierce. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. That good for 19 and a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. 
they feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.